I'm Matt Rendell here with The Coaches Show with Keith Kinder, presented by Southwestern Michigan College. Keith, um, last week was homecoming, fun night. You guys got off to a really good start. What are your takeaways from that game against Plymouth? Well, it was, you know, we stayed healthy, you know, uh, hoping to get a couple guys back for this week uh, that, that we kept out of the game. Uh, some guys that we had some concerns with got to play limited snaps, you know, get a couple possessions and then get out of there. So um, in, in those terms, it was, a, it was an efficient night for us. Um, and, you know, like you said, the, the homecoming atmosphere was neat for our kids. Um, it was neat for Bean to, to be crowned the homecoming king. So those kinds of things were, were nice and are always nice. And, you know, uh, just, you know, we've talked about it a lot, just how, how neat playing games here is. So uh, excited to get the win and ready to move on. Well, then let's go into this week. What, what are you guys preparing for as you get ready to go on the road, long trip, Warsaw, what are you guys preparing for in, in, in getting ready for that game? Well, I think the, the biggest thing is trying to mentally prepare our kids for just how physically um, they are going to be put into a lot of physical situations. Warsaw plays really physically. We, we've had two, three weeks where we haven't had to play uh, a complete game uh, since Northridge, and that game was very physical. And, and, and how fast the game is going to be? Is it's going to go fast? Uh, the speed of the game is going to be unlike anything that they've seen um, up to this point. Um, and so, just trying to prepare them for that. And, and like you said, it is it, it's one of the more probably uh, they and Northwood are the two most hostile environments in, in our conference. And uh, they got a great student section. Uh, they, they really, uh, their crowd shows up and, and, and is supportive. So I, I expect it to be a really neat atmosphere for our kids. And then speaking of Warsaw, it always comes up with Coach Curtis, you know, being here and then going there, you, you being here. Um, they're coming off a loss. It's always tough. What, what do you expect from him this week in terms of preparing his team? Well, I, you know, like you said, they, uh, they didn't have the outcome they were looking for last Friday. Um, I, I'd be interested in knowing how many times he's lost back-to-back -back games. You know, they're, they're going to play well. They're going to be physical. They're going to be ready to play. They're, everything that they still want to accomplish is in front of them. They can still win the conference if things shape up uh, the, the way that they're hoping they do. So um, what we've told our kids is, you know, what happened to Warsaw last week is not going to play any sort of part in the outcome of, of our game with them. So uh, we got to prepare well. We've got to be ready, like I said, for a physical game. And, you know, we we haven't finished in the two times that we've played them. We've had the lead in the fourth quarter twice, um, and, and we haven't come out with wins. So uh, that, that's been a challenge early on this week to, to our kids as well. Uh, about Warsaw, they are coming in, obviously in NLC power. You guys have, have stated your case to be in, in the running 2-0, and over at playing pretty well. Um, what, are, what are you excited about with getting into this stretch of games with Warsaw, Northwood, Concord, Wallace? What are you excited about to end the season here halfway through? Yeah, well, I, I think the biggest thing is, is number one, we're going to find out how good we actually are. Um, people have been telling our kids for a while that they're pretty good. I think they're, we're going to actually find out if that's true or not. And then secondly, this is going to make us better for the tournament. You know, regardless of the outcome, this Friday, next Friday, the following Friday, this three-week stretch is going to make us ready to play and try to win a sectional and, and, and try to advance deep into the tournament. So uh, in those things, that, that, that's the part that I'm looking forward to is, is to find out you know, how we're going to battle and then getting ready to, to try to win some trophies. Lastly, how does practice look different this week when you're going up against a team that's running some of the similar stuff you guys are doing? How's practice different for you guys this week than maybe in a, in a different week where you're playing maybe a spread offense or a more shotgun or pistol heavy offense? Yeah, well, you know, the biggest thing is typically our offense and defense stay away from each other um, throughout the week. Uh, this week they'll get together and work certain things uh, hand in hand so that the defense can see the speed at which our kids play uh, and so that's the biggest thing is just trying to just trying to get them as many reps as possible for the speed and and, and that's a big challenge for for any defense um, a little bit of a you know advantage to Warsaw and us because we can duplicate it a little better than, than our opponents can but but still, there's no simulating um, the speed at which Warsaw is going to play on Friday. Uh, we just have to adjust really fast.
Perfect. Thanks for your time, Coach. We appreciate you doing this with us. You can uh, listen to the game on 96.1 The Ton. Uh, I'll be on there, so I'm excited about that. So uh, go ahead and check that out this week. So that was the Coach's Show with Keith Kinder, presented by Southwestern Michigan College.